now that we've gone over how to do assign oxidation states and identify oxidation and reduction, this starts the new material, how to balance a redox equation. So what we've done before is we have only done mass balancing when we have balanced equations. So mass is the number of atoms on each side. When we do a redox, we also have to balance the charge, which is the number of electrons has to balance on each side. So to further complicate things, most reactions occur in aqueous solutions. So how we're going to balance these equations depends on whether we are in acidic or basic conditions. And I'm going to teach you how to do both. So I'm going to give you steps. These are also in the book, but how to balance a redox equation. The first thing you need to do is you need to assign oxidation states and determine what's being oxidized and what is being reduced. Now, this is called a half reaction method. It's important to know how to do this because we're going to be talking about half reactions in the context of creating um, currents. So you, you, you need to be familiar with, with splitting something into a half reaction or a half cell. All right, so we're going to split into oxidation and reduction, half reaction. So we're going to split it apart. We're going to have the oxidation part and then we're going to have the reduction part. It's very different than how we balanced equations before. Then you're going to balance each half reaction in this order. So the first thing you do is you balance the number of atoms on each side for everything except hydrogen and oxygen. In order to balance the oxygens, you add water. So you add waters to balance the oxygens. Well, when you're adding waters, you're also add, adding hydrogen. So then you have to balance the hydrogens on each side with a hydrogen ion. So that's going to work. This is, this is, this is going to give you acidic conditions because you're balancing with a hydrogen ion. We're not done. If you're in basic conditions, you have to neutralize your hydrogen ion with hydroxide ion on both sides. So that's just balancing the mass. Then you have to balance the charge with electrons in each half reaction. Then, we still have to put, put these half reactions back together. You have to make the number of electrons that are being transferred in each half reaction, we have to make them match. And we do that with multiplication. After we have done that, we have balanced each of our half reactions by mass and by charge. Then we put them back together. So then we add the half reactions together and then we start canceling out all of the common species and you do a final check. Now nobody laugh at me because I'm probably going to make mistakes. I normally do this with a, with a pencil and it takes me several tries to do it. So that's okay if it takes you several tries. I understand. Okay, so here is our reaction and it's telling us that we are in acidic conditions. So let's just follow the steps here. Let's assign oxidation numbers. That's zero, that's plus two, that's plus three, that's zero. So now, let's determine. Zero to positive three, that's a loss. Positive two to zero, that's a gain. That's the extent you really need to do that. And maybe you can just figure it out. So now we need to separate into our half reactions. So our oxidation, remember oil rig, is the loss. So that's going to be aluminum to aluminum plus three. The reduction is going to be copper plus two to elemental copper. Now, 
The first thing it tells us to do is balance by mass. One aluminum, one aluminum. Good. One copper, one copper. Good. All right. We don't have anything hydrogen or oxygen, so we're done here so far. Don't worry, it's going to get plenty more complicated. So now we need to balance the charge. So this is a zero. And so in order to balance this, we need aluminum plus three plus three electrons. That's going to give us a balanced charge. On this side, that's zero. So we need to have plus two electrons. So the reduction, you kind of need a little bit more room. Um, I'll do that on the next one. All right, so now we gotta make sure we're up here um, at step five, which you can't see, step five. Make the number of electrons in both half reactions match by multiplication. All right, so three is not equal to two, right? Please say you agree. Yes, good. All right, so we need to get to a common, uh, least common multiple is gonna be six. So multiply this one by two, multiply this one by three. So that gives you two aluminum, two aluminum plus three plus six electrons. Six electrons plus a three copper plus two to three elemental coppers. Now we add them all together. Now, when I do this, I do not cancel as I go along. You might be able to do that, but I cannot. Um, I actually just copy these. So I write aluminum to aluminum, and then plus six electrons, plus three copper plus two. So that's everything on the left. Then I go over to everything on the right, two aluminum plus three, plus six electrons, plus three elemental coppers. Then I start canceling things out. You should never have electrons in your final balanced equation. Never. So if your electrons do not ma match and cancel out, you have to go back. So now we've canceled things out. Our final is two aluminum plus three copper plus two gives two aluminum plus three plus three elemental coppers. So this is what actually happens. This is the final reaction. This is all we had ever done before. This is how you balance the redox. Now, let's do another one. Notice this one's a lot more complicated. <laughs> all right, so here we're going from iron plus two to iron plus three. And here we're going from manganese. So oxygen is minus two. So you may have to do a little bit of math over here. You have MN plus negative eight equals negative one, right? So. Oh, they did it a different way. You can do it, okay. They did it, they just said MnO4 goes to Mn plus two. Okay, that, that'll work. I don't normally do it that way, but that's fine. Okay, so this here, because we're going from minus four to, or minus one to plus two. So iron here is, make sure I do this right, losing one electron. So that's oxidation. So that's Fe plus two goes to Fe plus three. And I go ahead and write one electron because I tend to do that first. Now, reduction, we have MnO4 minus two Mn plus two manganese. All right, so we need to know how many electrons we're dealing with. So we need to figure this out at some point. So here we have minus two 
And so that's going from what? Um, positive six, yeah. Positive six to positive two. Make sure I got that right. No, it's plus seven. Plus seven. Plus seven to plus two. So here we need five electrons. All right, so I'm gonna write this down further. Again, I told you it takes me a long time to do these. Plus seven, plus five electrons, and then plus two. Okay, so this one here, we don't have any waters. We don't have, we, we only have electrons. Here we have oxygen, so we balance. There's one manganese, one manganese on each side. I've already done the electrons, but don't worry about that yet. But it's easier for me to go ahead and keep track of them at first. So manganese is positive seven. All right, now we have oxygen. The rules say we balance oxygen with water. So to, for four oxygens, we need four waters on this side of the equation. Water should not be on both sides of the equation in a half reaction. Now, after that, we balance our hydrogens with H pluses. So we have eight hydrogens, so we need eight H pluses. And that gives us, this tells us we're in acidic condition, so we're okay with that. All right, so now we have balanced those. Now we gotta balance our electrons. So one electron does not equal five electrons, but we can multiply this one by five, give us five Fe plus two to five Fe plus three plus five electrons. All right, now add them, add them up together. Here, five Fe plus two plus eight hydrogens plus five electrons plus MnO4 minus gives five Fe plus three plus five electrons plus manganese plus two plus four waters. Cancel out the common species. In this case, it's only gonna be five electrons. Notice you can tell that when you do this with where you're dealing with oxygen and hydrogens, you do have to be careful when you cancel things out. So after we've done that, we have, um, I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna move my hydrogens out front. That way it's easy to tell that I'm in acidic conditions. Plus MnO4 minus five Fe plus three plus Mn plus two plus four H2O. That's the final answer. Alright. So let's do one where we're going to be in basic conditions. So basic conditions, we have to have the extra step. So let's see what happens. This is zero, this is plus seven, and here minus two, so that's plus four. Okay, so going from negative one to zero, that's a gain. So that's gonna be reduction. Negative seven to positive four. No, no, no. This is a loss of electrons, sorry. Loss, gain, I was like, oh, I got them backwards. All right, so you separate them, oil rig. Oxidation is loss, so that's gonna be I minus to I2. Reduction, and here, this is gonna be, um, let 
here I'll do that I'll do that in a little bit and gain uh, so uh, reduction is gain so let's go with MN04 minus 2 MN02 okay so let me work on the top first so we need two of these and so if we have two of those we're also going to need two electrons one electron for each iodine. Okay, so we did have to do a little bit of uh, mass work there. Here, I should have written it further down, but I didn't. All right, now, let's balance oxygen. So we balance oxygen at four and two. That's not balanced, so we need to balance oxygen with water. So we need two more oxygens on this side, so we do it with two waters. Okay, so four and four, four, good. Now we got to balance hydrogen. So we have four hydrogen. So let's do plus four H plus over here. But now we're in basic condition, so we have to neutralize the hydrogen. So we neutralize the hydrogen, so that's gonna be plus four OH minus you have to do it to both sides, plus four OH minus. Now let's figure out how many electrons we were dealing with, because um, that was plus seven, and this is plus four. So here we have three electrons. So three does not equal two. So let's multiply this whole thing by three which is gonna give us six I minus, that's an I, six, or three iodine, six electrons. So we gotta multiply this whole bad boy by two. Be careful here. So that gives us six electrons plus these make water. So that would be four waters. Only now there's two, of them. We're, we're doubling it, so now there's eight. Plus two, MnO4 minus, gives two, MnO2, plus four waters, plus eight, OH minus. Ooh, didn't that make things fun? All right, so now let's add these together. And again, if you want to cancel out your waters here, go ahead. Um, we can do that. We can cancel that out and make that a four if you want to. Okay, so that gives us six electrons plus six I minus plus four waters plus two MnO4 minus yields three I2 plus six electrons, plus two MnO2, plus eight OH minus. So in basic solution, you should always have a hydroxide there. So now let's cancel out our electrons. And if you didn't cancel the waters up there, you would cancel them here, which is what I normally tend to do. So that gives us six I minus, plus four waters, plus two MnO4 minus, three I2, two MnO2, plus eight OH minus. And that is the correct answer. It's so beautiful. So in basic solution, you have that extra step and you have to remember that the hydrogen and the hydroxide go together and make water and that's gonna cancel out some of your waters on the other side. And you may have waters up at the top there. So there's a practice sheet of how to do these. Here it is, balancing redox equations practice. So, the first ones are in acidic conditions, and then the last 
five are in basic condition. I highly recommend you do that and get good practice on it. But that concludes balancing redox reactions.